Do you have any other comments from the public? Yeah, just one thing. Um, good afternoon. My name is Elaine Bangwood, um, New Windsor, New York. I, I would like to say to Ms. Ask Mr. Shore, I, I know that you um, made a very um, brief reference in reference of disciplinary action. Um, and I know you probably will not be able to answer this question, but uh, you didn't make a reference to maybe a possible number as to how many would be disciplined, uh, the possibility of a discipline action, but you didn't make a reference to a possible number as to the disciplinary action that may be taken. I, I didn't make a reference to a number and I won't make one tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Good evening. Good My evening. name is Gilbert Sharp, and I'm from the city of Newburgh. I'm a product of Newburgh School District and also a former employee. Uh, a couple of things. First thing, let me first say I think Newburgh School District is a very, very good school district. The school the teachers and the administrators are trying very hard to do a very good job. It's not always easy. And yes, the school district does have flaws. With that in mind, point two, we need to recognize this particular flaw. The idea that students are athletes and don't graduate, that there are that there are many kids who are not graduating, that are not athletes, that we do have some serious deficiencies, we need to recognize that and try to do our best to change it in a positive manner. Three, having recognized, especially at the part about the student athletes, the board, the NAACP, the community, the teachers, everyone, should understand that this is not just a Newburgh problem, but it's a national problem. And we should be the spearhead to make sure that this is recognized as a national problem. Um, years ago, we started on the colleges and we made changes as a nation. We've now gotten down to high school level. We need to make sure these changes are made on a high school level, that our students, our athletes, get what they need in order to be both. And I, I'm one who believes in Jesse Jackson. He always said, if I always talk about the problem, I'm not doing a lot of good. Give me a solution. I've got one small solution. On any given day, there is absolutely no accounting as to who is in the Newburgh Free Academy building. We have a system of every kid has an ID card, but it's a, it's a waste of time. It's a waste. We need to change to a 21st century ID card for Newburgh School District. You swipe the card to get into the building. You swipe the card to get into a classroom. You swipe the card 45 minutes later when you leave the classroom. I can swipe a card and I can pull up my academics. I swipe the card and I can pull up my attendance. We need to change the way we do it. Our 1970 or 25-year-old system is not working. Please try to find a better system so we can under, so we can know by simply swiping a card. Oh, you have been to class today. Swipe the card. The coach says, you're failing this class. You haven't been to class. You can't play. Swipe the card. My mother, my father says, oh, you're doing great in class. Oh, you're not going to class. That is too easy to get done. Try something new. Try something different. But let's not forget 
even though we are a great school district, we do have flaws. Let's concentrate on changing flaws. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for your comments. I will take one more um, public comment on agenda items as we have allotted our time for this portion of the agenda. Good evening. My name is Abdullah Nora. I'm the second. I work for the district, and I'm the brother of Karin Bunce. I've been involved with the basketball team throughout different times. For those of you who know me, I've also done school violence prevention in the district. Going on three years, and next year I'll be transitioning into uh, another department. See, my, my heart is beating out of my chest at this one because this is very personal to me. It's very personal to me because what I do in these streets out here is I walk up on different blocks and I see some of our kids who've dropped out of school and I see them fighting to complete Maslow's hierarchy of needs. I see them looking for food, I see them looking for safety, I see them looking for several different things. And I've listened today as many people have made recommendations to the board and said different things about you know, maybe we should do this for the kids, maybe we should do that for the kids, and they're all good ideas because they're already in place because my sister put them there. See, people don't understand that when you're really in this community, when you really watch these kids and you really want to give them a chance and you really want to listen to them, and you're not prescribing from a distance, you're not telling the board who's dealing with the kids and getting phone calls every time a teacher kicks a kid out of class for something they may or may not have done, or when we're coming out here to fight for the lives of our kids. See, everybody is conspicuously absent then, but they come to board meetings in order to find out about only five kids who passed all their classes but didn't pass the state exam because they didn't show up to tutoring. And I know them and I have nothing but love for them. And they are young men, but I hold them to a standard of becoming grown men. Because the more excuses we make for people who don't show up to do their due diligence to push their lives forward, that's like blaming the parole board for recidivism. That's like blaming probation for the kid who didn't get the services because he didn't show up. These are things that you cannot help if the motivation is not there. What we have to do is help our kids to dream again, to focus on their life and to push forward. And I'm hoping that everybody who is writing everything, because the Time Herald Record didn't show up when we had the PAC program. We asked them to come. We had the three doctors coming. I didn't come out there. I didn't come out there. When the money was put aside in the grant to make sure that we could bring positive African American males who came from similar backgrounds to come out here and give these kids hope, that was the day. Nobody was here. Now, Mr. Rodriguez, I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know what he's being told he has to do with his job, and I'm not going to condemn anybody else. I'm also not going to give, condemn the NAACP because I refuse to engage in the lynching of another black organization, another black man. And the reality of the situation is, I just hope that all these organizations who are coming out of the woodwork to find out about only five kids will be as active and as involved and as front page when it's time to work with the gang problem, to save our kids' lives, to make sure that we're not cleaning up our children off the streets. I expect to see everybody there at the city council meeting and everybody there at the board meeting because I stand on those blocks by myself. And if you don't know about it, ask about Mr. R, South Landra Renwick, South and Liberty, Chamber Street, anywhere else, because I'm the one out here and I'm from New Paul's. So I need somebody from here to come with me. Thank you, Mr. Rahman. The board clerk has recorded your comments. That concludes um, that portion of the agenda. Our next item on the agenda is from the superintendent. Thank you, Madam President. 